EKU football rushed onto the field at Roy Kidd Stadium last night, set to kick off the 2019 campaign against the Crusaders of Valparaiso. The Colonels would get the ball first, and it didn't take long for the offense to set the tone. Second down and 10 for Blount on the Colonels. Two receivers right, one short side left. McCleskey swinging right, getting to the corner, 40 through a gap, 50. There goes Darrell McCleskey, 40, 30. They chase him from behind. He misses the foot tackle and takes it to the house. Eastern Kentucky with a touchdown run by McCleskey of 64 yards, his 14th career touchdown. Dakota Allen would convert the two-point attempt as Eastern Kentucky jumps out to an early lead. And with the quickness, the defense was picking up what the offense was putting down. Wide receiver right in motion. Rolling this way to throw Duncan. They've got him. They knock it away. It's scooped by a colonel. It's Corey Glass. He goes up and into the end zone as it was stripped away by a teammate. Crowder at Eastern Kentucky has raced to a 14-0 lead. Waiting moments of the first quarter, EKU staring at a third and 11 when Connor Blount gets flushed from the pocket, and the redshirt junior takes it himself, picking up 13 yards for a fresh set of downs. Alonzo Booth takes the handoff and racks up like nine yards after first contact to keep things rolling along. Blount was moving the sticks with his feet. Here he's moving them with his arm as Matt Wilcox comes down with a 24-yard grab to put the Colonels inside the 15. And this drive would get capped in the second stanza. Booth again, he's been a heavy deuce. A dose of Booth, he comes off to the left, breaks a tackle with a stiff arm, gets to the end zone. Up the middle, nothing there. Alonzo Booth said, I'll try on the left side, and there was no speed for the Crusaders, and Alonzo Booth has scored a touchdown. Next EKU possession, it's fourth and two. Parker McKinney will drop it off to Daryl McCleskey, who gets the two plus some as he sets the table. He's in a wing and a pistol, McKinney. Hand off Alonzo Booth, and he tastes the end zone for the second time tonight. Sam Hayworth would knock down a 31-yard field goal to put EKU up 32-0 at halftime. The Colonels would continue to roll in the second half. Jason Lewis would taste pay dirt here in the third quarter. And in the final frame, Booth would complete the hat trick as he chews up 86 yards for his third touchdown of the night. Then Dakota Allen would find Alex Cabrera in the end zone as Eastern Kentucky came away with a 53-7 victory. The Colonel run game was ridiculous. They racked up 333 yards, led by Booth, who went over the century mark as he finished with 128. EKU's back in action on September 7th when they head to Louisville to take on the Cardinals. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.